911, what is your emergency? A bulldozer levels a building in Granby, Colorado. Then another. And another. It's part of a meticulously planned citywide demolition project. Hey, but this plan wasn't put together by city engineers or construction workers. It's the brainchild of an angry man with a grudge against a lot of local people and businesses. The man inside this armor plated bulldozer is Marv Hemeyer. As horrified townspeople run for their lives, Hemeyer wrecks buildings and vehicles one after another. And he's ready to take on sheriff's deputies or anybody else who stands in his way. Hemeyer is an accomplished welder who spent a lot of time inside a secret workshop. Uh, yeah, it's only paint and metal, and you can't see who's driving or anything. There, he outfitted the dozer with two sheets of half-inch steel plating with a layer of concrete in between. On this day, he seals himself in and takes off on a violent ride. Inside his cockpit, two assault rifles, lots of ammo, and video monitors to help him see where he's going. A bank, a hardware store, a concrete factory, even the town hall and especially the police department. The one thing all of those places have in common, Hemeyer feels he has been wronged by these businesses or the people who own them. He even exacts revenge on the home of the town's former mayor. Deputies and SWAT teams try everything. But even armor-piercing bullets can't penetrate Mark Hemeyer's homemade metal and concrete shield. At one point, a heavy equipment operator decides to put a stop to the carnage. He climbs behind the wheel of his front-end loader and gets set to take on the armored bulldozer. But quickly, the operator finds himself in an industrial-sized game of chicken. Meyer speeds ahead, aiming directly for the blockade. Realizing his intentions, the loader attempts to flee, but the armored dozer gives chase. Ramming the tractor off his path, it steams ahead to its next target. Authorities seize the narrow opportunity, using the front loader truck to block the dozer in. The civilian operator hurries to safety. Forced to continue ahead, E. Meyer pushes his creation to the limit. The bulldozer grinds to a halt under the rubble of a steel building. Its engine has called it quits. As authorities try to get into the cab of his homemade tank, Marv E. Meyer takes his own life. It takes officers several hours and a cutting torch to finally get inside the cab. None of the townspeople are hurt, but the price tag on this rampage is about $7 million.